Hey guys, what's up? It is your girl, Cinquanta Coxsmith of www.cinquantacoxsmith.com. Smile for me. So today I am here with a live research video. So we're gonna be searching all things print on demand. Um, I'm gonna use Amazon and Etsy to see if we can find you guys some good designs to try out for St. Patrick's Day. It is already January 22nd, so I'm not really going to go into Valentine's Day. So we're going to focus on St. Patrick's Day only in this video. And I also have a niche wrist niche wrist research. Wow. Here I go again. Um, available on my Gumroad and it's gumroad.com backslash and Smith. I'll be adding more over there as well. I also have free blank line of uh, journal pages available over there as well. Um, if you are interested in getting me to set up your store, I have two slots available for February and I have two slots available for March. So you can just email me. Um, I am setting up Amazon Merch. I'm setting up Amazon Affiliate and uh, Redbubble and TeePublic. So if you are new to the print on demand business and you just want someone to set up your store, maybe you already have designs or you just don't have the time, make sure you send me an email so I can help you out. All right, so we're gonna go on Amazon first. And I'm using, of course, I'm using all of my extensions keywords everywhere i'm using uh d amz suggestion expander ds amazon quick view and amazon keyword tool okay so the first thing i'm just going to type in saint patch saint i didn't even have to finish so what we see is saint patrick's day decorations saint patrick's day shirts for women why does it do that because i wanted to click on that so now something different showed up all right, so I wanna click on that, but I wanted to go to like a new page, <laughs> boo-hoo. Okay, so I'll just click on it. So it says 9,000 search results, and this is under all. So let's go to clothing and jewelry, and let's do that search again. So not too bad, still have about 8,000, okay? So of course we can tell um, that a lot of these that are on models are probably not Amazon merch. Um, the ones like this are definitely merch by Amazon. So you can also tell the difference. These other people are probably doing like FBA and things like that. So you can definitely tell the difference here. So we have, you know, like a leprechaun rainbow thing. We have some shamrocks, we have some Star Wars uh, themed St. Patrick's stuff. We have some dinosaur St. Patrick stuff, Hello Kitty. So a lot of niches, um, I can't, the Sugar Skull in St. Patrick. So a lot of these are mash up of niches. We have this sh uh, shamrock in the shape of a Mickey Mouse face. Um, I'm sure that will sell well, but I'm not too sure that I would do this. Uh, again, a uh, Minnie Mouse. We have uh, Patrick from SpongeBob. Again, not too sure about <laughs> certain laws and trademarks on that. We have Tinkerbell. Um, it says it's by Disney. Not sure if Disney created that. <laughs> so let's not do that. Okay, Don. Wow, they are really pushing the limit. We have Pac-Man. That's super cute and, and smart. Um, I think I like the way they did this as well. So it's like... It's noticeable, but not noticeable. Um, of course, like the military Red Friday St. Patrick's Day shirt. So what I see here that will seem like it will sell a lot is doing shamrocks or St. Patrick's Day stuff around themes that you like. Um, I think I have a really good idea for one as I look through these. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and figure that one out. I'm gonna pause this real quick so I can go over to Etsy. All right, so we're on Etsy and I'm gonna type in Saint. So the first thing I see is Saint Patrick's Day shirt. So let's see what's going on over on Etsy. Why did it do that? Saint Patrick's Day shirt. Guess I should have did shirt for woman. So they have filters. Um, don't need any of those but I do want to search by 
top customer reviews. So let's see what are the best sellers. Okay, so we have rainbows, pots of pinches of gold, a lot of shamrock shirt. Also that same shirt that we've seen over on Amazon is here. I wish I was faster, a play on the words. Love that. Look like we have some Wranglins, lots and lots and lots of shamrocks. <laughs> um, we have like that Red Friday shirt. I love this one right here. This is a beautiful design. Um, we have some teacher stuff. We have photography items. We have that Christmas tree that everybody loves doing Christmas here on a St. Patrick's Day shirt. Again, uh, a little St. Patrick's Day. Some tie-dye. Okay, so we have like, so Shamrock is the way to go. If not, then change it up, okay? So we can see some other things. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to all over here and then I'm gonna look up St. Patrick's Day Journal. Okay, so all 243 and then we're gonna look into, I'm gonna hit books and then I'm gonna search again and it says 10,000. So it's probably lots of coloring books, activity books, um, and different things like that. So a lot of people have added lots of different things. A lot of them are probably blank journals, but let's take it up a step and do St. Patrick's Day activity book and see what we come up with. So we have 3,000 in that search. So these are activity books. So I think you could still get into this. It's not so huge. It's under 5,000. So you can still get in there. And then let's check the keyword coloring book. Again, even though I did activity book, it's probably still some other journals and things that slipped in there. So coloring books is like a thousand. So I feel like you can still get in here and make some decent money um, with St. Patrick's Day. So... This is a really nice one. I've seen this. All right, so there you have it. Let's look over on Etsy. I don't know if they have a lot of journals. So we'll check and see St. Patrick's Day Journal. So not really anything over here. A few, but not really a lot. So let's see. Let's just put in activity sheets because I know a lot of people do like downloads over here. Um, so let's see. So we have some activity sheets, coloring pages. So that can work well over here on Etsy, which is good. Okay, so we have that. And so I'm not even going to put in coloring sheets over here. So the other one is St. Patrick's Day. Let's go back to all. St. Patrick's Day mug. So I did t-shirts, journals, and now I'm doing mugs. So I don't know if mug falls into appliances, but I'm gonna leave it with all. So we have about a thousand search results. Oops. Okay, so again, we see that handy dandy shamrock <laughs> everywhere. Um, see a, a few different types. Zero fucks given, my type of cup. Sloth, some Irish hats, lots of pinch me's, but lots of shamrock. So it's like shamrock is the way to go. If you want to go the other way, it might get you seen faster. <laughs> so now we have St. Patrick, Patrick's Day mugs on Etsy. And we have about 6,000 search results. A lot of Irish type stuff. Um, love the pictures with the actual food and stuff inside. That's super cute uh, product photos. Lots of mugs here. Love the different, you know, colors and variations over here as well. So that's kind of like, you know, what you should be looking for. Um, keywords like leprechaun, shamrock, Irish, things like that will help you when you're searching for different St. Patrick's Day products. So you can definitely come out with a coloring book, activity page, activity book, mugs, shirts, and still be able to get some sales around St. Patrick's Day. If you start now, again, do your research, see what's selling, um, and make your own variation of that. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick live St. Patrick's Day research uh, for your print-on-demand business, and I'll see you guys in the next video. 
I love you more than I love this video.